Coming up, a segment from KTWU, your source for public television. Afterwards, don't forget to visit KTWU.org to make a pledge to help make more local programming like this. The grandson of Thomas Hart Benton, Anthony Benton Goode, is carrying on the family tradition by creating his own landscapes and murals. In our final story, we stop in on this artist at the family farm in Marshall County. I've drawn and painted just on my own pretty much all my life since I was a small child. But after finishing school and uh, trying odd jobs here and there, construction, whatever, uh, it was my mother suggesting why don't I uh, go to art school and see if I liked it. And so I figured, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I don't know what else to do. Born in New England on the island of Martha's Vineyard, Anthony Benton Goode attended art school in Boston. After graduating, he decided to return to Kansas, where he'd lived during his teenage years. Came back here to Kansas and just saw the light on the native grass in the fall and the, the way the sunlight just kind of reflects off the land and melts into it. In contrast to the cold blue light of New England, the warm golden light of Kansas uh, was just what I was looking for. And I said, this is it, I've got to paint here. Anthony and his family live in the hills of southeastern Marshall County on a small farm that Thomas Hart Benton, Anthony's grandfather, purchased in the early 70s. We looked and this farm was for sale. And so my granddad came out, he looked it over, he made some sketches, he went back to his studio and he painted a picture of the barnyard with the old silo in there, sold the painting to a, a fellow in Kansas City, and then used the proceeds from the sale of the painting to buy the land. So he bought this farm with a painting of it. And he'd, he would come out, oh, for the last few years of his life, he'd always come out at least, oh, a couple times a year. He'd like to come out looking for morels. And in the fall, he'd like to come out and do sketches, enjoy the fall colors. Fall colors, I think, um, especially having known New England, the fall colors of Kansas I find to be as beautiful, if not more beautiful. They're subtle, and there's a softness that is not as bright in your face, almost gaudy qualities of the uh, New England fall with the intense reds and oranges, with that slow quality of the yellow and the cottonwoods when the oaks are still green, and then the prairie grass turns orange and with all the colors in the prairie grasses. That color combination you just can't beat as an artist, as far as I'm concerned. You have a full color spectrum right there, and it's all happening at once. If you wanted to imagine that, you know, to come up with the perfect color spectrum of pattern in a painting, I don't think you'd get any better than what we have here. Living in the country and being actively engaged with the daily chores and seasonal activities around this organic farming operation, Anthony has developed a special affinity for farm life and the bucolic scenes that surround him. I've done a lot of farm scenes over the last few years. I wanted to capture, while it's still in existence, the essence of the family farm. I may be nostalgic, but I figured it was something worth painting. And I've done those works which uh, unfortunately are now all scattered in private collections and not all in a, they can't be seen or shown as a single show. With the amount of work I've done, my bread and butter has been uh, in the commissions doing and, uh, large pieces. I've gotten into doing murals which I didn't think I would be interested in doing murals. It's something that kind of uh, fell into my lap. As if he'd hit the jackpot, a casino gave Anthony his first big commission as a muralist. Located adjacent to the Missouri River near St. Joe, the Frontier Casino commissioned him to paint a series of murals that now line the entryway leading into the casino. These murals depict various aspects of local history. 
um, I researched the history for, you know, about uh, three months. I really have kind of absorbed it, early history, and let the images start coming back at me, what I was going to use, started making sketches. I love history, I'm a student of history. I studied history, I studied American history all my life. And so actually doing these murals where I'm depicting it or painting it is, is something I really enjoy. I definitely enjoy, you know, painting historical pieces. The casino had originally commissioned Anthony to paint three murals, but that changed after his work began to take shape. They liked the first three so much they contracted me to do another one as well, so it ended up being four large panels uh, that they were very satisfied with. And I cut my teeth on that, that job as a muralist. After that, my gallery in Kansas City got me the job with uh, Western Resource. The headquarters of Western Resources, now known as Westar Energy, are located in downtown Topeka. In the lobby of this building, Anthony Goode has created another large mural that presents images reminiscent of the electrical utilities past, as well as contemporary scenes. Those familiar with the murals of Thomas Hart Benton may find some similarities, but Anthony says he's not attempting to mimic his grandfather's style. And although a lot of people have said, yeah, there's, I see Benton, or you've seen Benton in here, I don't see that I'm trying to emulate that style at all. This to me is my style, and if there's similarities, well, that's natural. In my murals, I like to have a dynamic relationship happening between the figures as kind of the glue that connects the collage of images that are happening. And it's the relationship between the characters within the mural that I find uh, very interesting to paint, although it's challenging. It has been a challenge for me. I guess I'm my worst critic, and living out here in the country, I don't have too many people who come down and who are or involved in art, or the artists I know live in Lawrence, or Topeka, <laughs> or Kansas City, or beyond. So I'm isolated out here, which um, I guess is pretty good, because I've been successful doing what I, doing what I do without being um, influenced by some of the trends that go on in the art world. Certainly, uh, if I'd listened to the trends of the day, I shouldn't be painting representational paintings. I should be into the abstract. <laughs> but over the last 10 years, the uh, representation of painters have gotten more respect and have hung on and survived and continue to survive pretty well. I don't think you get any better than what we have here. I mean, there's some beautiful places in this country, and there are plenty of more places that I still want to paint. But uh, Kansas, I can paint. Probably I'll be painting for the rest of my life. I don't think I can run out of ideas or situations that need painting. Glad you could stop by to see a clip from KTWU. It's your input that helps make public television great. Consider a donation. Browse over to ktwu.org right now. <laughs>